What is happening guys? Welcome back to Redbeard's Garage and we're continuing on with the Talon build. Uh, we've done a lot of aftermarket parts so far from Super ATV and it doesn't stop there. We're going to be doing their aluminum roof. We do have the factory, the OEM plastic roof, but it's bulky. We actually picked this up in an enclosed trailer and it wouldn't fit. We made it fit, but it wouldn't fit because this roof kicks up so high in the back, which uh, the aluminum roof is going to look a ton better and they do have a couple different options. And we're also going to be installing their cooler and bed extension. So we got their aluminum roof. Like I said, you can go with a couple different styles from them. They do have the polycarbonate. I'm kind of kicking myself. That would have been a pretty cool roof to be able to see through, you know, or see the ground if you're flipped, if you're players. But um, we went with their aluminum two-piece roof. This is super sleek, and I think it just looks more tactical on the talon over that factory roof. Comes with a ton of this memory foam seal. This is the softest stuff you ever felt, and all the hardware. So we also have their cooler. This is. You know, I don't want to say like a Yeti, but it's like a Yeti. And this is mainly probably going to be for drinks and tools, most likely inside of it. Uh, but we also have their bed extension. This is going to guard the bed area and it looks a ton better. All this stuff should have came, the cooler of course not, but should have came factory from Honda. But Super ATV is located here in the United States. They make a bulk of these parts in the United States with American hands and we're super pumped to be supporting that. So let's jump right on the build. We're going to do the roof first because we might be standing in the bed and then we can get the cooler and bed extension installed. The factory roof has a series of bolts on the top, side, and inside to remove the top from the cage. With the top removed, we can install the foam seal around the top of the cage. Once the seal is in place, we can install the three brackets shown on screen. So what we're using is an M8 with no washer or anything. We're going to go up and the curved portion. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the curved portion is going to go on this tab. You can see how this is boxy. This is curved a little bit. So that's going to bolt to that. Just need to make sure we get it straight. We might have to loosen these just a bit to get it to line up, but um, the roof is slid a little bit for this. Then we have our last bracket. Same thing, the curved ear sets on the tab. I'm gonna run the M8 through the bottom. So this is the third time we pulled this rear bracket off. Um, it needs to face forward, but the instructions will tell you to face it backwards. So make sure to orientate it like this. Curved portion sits on the tab. Run that M8 bolt from the bottom and curve it towards the front of the chassis. The rest of them are just like we shown, but we found out after trying to get the roof lined up that it does need to face forward. And you do have plenty of room for the bolt to clear in there. So now we can start putting our bolts loosely in our roof. So we have these four rubber grommets shown on screen. And you can see on the roof, there is this is the front so this is the front of the vehicle this is where the two halves meet and this is the rear so we're going to have one and they these go in the rounded holes so we're just going to squeeze those in there pop them into place so if you watch the super atv video they put the seal on the top side and then the instructions say to do it on the bottom side so i'm guessing it's either or we're going to put it on the this side the edge and i'm going to start on one side you get it dead flush and you will have to trim out the holes a little bit it is blocking the holes but that's fine there we go now we can install the back portion onto the chassis Using the bolts on screen, we're gonna have a rubber washer 
uh, on the bolt it goes down through both halves of the roof and then we put a rubber washer and a nut on it and we're just going to loosely get all this stuff put together basically the rubber washers are going to both face the the top and the bottom side of the roof So we have the bolts shown on screen with the rubber washers. These two bolts are going to go in the front two corners. This is the front windshield. We're just going to get everything loosely installed. Move the roof around so we can get everything lined up. Let's get a couple of threads going. We'll put our other one in the opposite corner. And then the bolts and washers shown on screen is going to go down these three middle spots. And again, loosely get them threaded in there and you're going to want to leave these brackets loose so we can push them around and get all of our bolts started so now we're going to use the washers and bolts shown on screen we're going to use a bolt and a washer on top of the grommet and a washer on the bottom as well in between the bracket. This is really hard to line up, but if you believe in it, you can do it. I'm just snugging them and now we have another one of these bolts and double washers on the opposite passenger rear. So I'm using my Allen to slide down in there and help align this. You can use a Phillips screwdriver to do so as well. That lined up and started. Now on the last two grommet holes, we're gonna use the bolt shown on screen. And how we're going to orientate the bolts and washers is we're going to run a steel washer on our bolt, slide it through the grommet, put another metal washer on, and then a rubber washer under that. So it's going to be bolt, washer, original grommet in the roof, metal washer, rubber washer, and then it bolts into the tab. Run a bolt and washer through the top, go underneath with a washer and rubber washer and you can lift this up to get it to all line up and i'm just kind of freehand feeling around in there there we go so i guess the people that was putting this honda together they had cross threaded uh this bolt and the opposite one on the other side which is crazy but i had to run a thread chaser down it to clean them up and I finally got it to thread. I had to do this to both sides. So now that we have all the grommets and everything, we can fully go through. And I even took a factory bolt to make sure it wasn't like a, you know, check the threads. It's M8125 and it just stripped from the factory. So now we can take, make sure our roof looks centered from front to back and all that stuff. We can cinch it down. Then if we have any exposed foam, we can trim it with an X-Acto knife and this roof is finally finished. This is definitely one of the harder things. I would say to put all these bolts that bolt the two halves together, do that on the floor or workbench for sure. Um, there's no need to do it up on the roof, lay them together because there's no slots in these. They slide right into holes. So you don't have to worry about getting everything lined up. Like, you know, uh, there's no adjustment in these two halves, I should say. So now we can tighten up everything. Make sure now you can tighten up your brackets if you already didn't. We had ours pretty tight. But we left them just loose enough so I could stick my Allen through and like tweak them. So now we can tighten up everything and the roof is finished. So for the bed enclosure, I keep calling it an extender, but it's an enclosure. Uh, we're going to take out four Allens that's shown on screen. And once we take those, we can lay our bed enclosure in. And we're only going to install the bolts up here because our cooler is going to utilize the bolts down here and bolt all together.
So now we can set our bed extruder, set it in place and get all of our bolt holes lined up. Like I said, we're only gonna bolt up this top bracket here. And we're not gonna tighten them down yet, we're just gonna get them in place. Now we're gonna go ahead and unbolt the tin out of the D-ring here, take out this Allen, and do the same thing on the opposite side. So now we have this piece that came with our cooler. If you're not using the cooler, you would use the provided hardware that comes with the bed enclosure. But since we're using the cooler, we're gonna use the bolts shown on screen washers and lock washers and go ahead and bolt all this up together again we're going to leave everything real loose because we got to adjust everything once the cooler is installed so now we can install the brackets shown on screen when we're installing these we need to make sure these ears face towards the back seat i'll lay those on top go ahead and start the screw that's going to be closest to the cooler and then we can reinstall our d-ring using the hardware included on top of this again we're not tightening up anything because we'll have to adjust stuff once the cooler is installed now we can install the other bracket on the opposite side now we can take our cooler Set it down into place and use the hardware shown on screen use a lock washer and a washer on these knobs get all of them hand tight now these are just plastic knobs with thread inserts in plastic so you don't want to crank these down just get them good and snug all the way around then we can go and tighten up all of our bracketry now that we've test fit it we can tighten up our rear bracket that's going to hold the back because you won't be able to get to the bolts once the cooler is installed Now we can tighten up our bed enclosure bolts. Set our cooler back down in there. And put all of our thumb screws in. All right, so we got all those thumb screws tightened down. Once you get them all in, then you can cinch them down. Like I said, don't like hammer down on them, but basically tighten them enough so the lock washer is flat. Uh, so now all we have left to do is tighten up our four bolts, two on each side of our rear brackets, and we are good to go. Massive shout out guys to Super ATV for sponsoring today's video. This is um, a massive upgrade to the Talon. That roof is, I kid you not, like six inches lower than that factory roof. I, I like the look of the factory roof, but I think this one looks way better. It's, stronger looking more tactical and it is eighth inch thick aluminum and it's powder coated made it right here in the united states so that was an awesome addition and this cooler you can fit a six pack of soda in here candy bars anything you want to keep cold and uh like i said we're probably honestly going to use it as partially a toolbox and cooler but it's super super high quality and it's made as heavy as a yeti cooler and this it, this bed enclosure is super nice Man, it just filled out this back back section and I'm really digging it. So let us know what you think about this Talon build. We're coming to an end. We only have a few electronics to install and then we go to some suspension upgrade and wheels and tires. So we're super pumped to get this thing on the trail. We're gonna do this full video series and then we're gonna take it and thrash on it off-road. So we're super pumped. Massive shout out again to Super ATV. Couldn't have done these videos without them. Make sure to check out the links in the video description where you can find all these parts that we have installed and are going to install. So thank you very much for watching. We love you guys and uh, God bless.